If you've been struggling with imposter syndrome, everything that you put out on social media, even when you show up with people in real life, if you're just not feeling quite like yourself and you sometimes just feel like a fraud and a fake, keep listening. Maybe you've been trying to be liked by everybody and maybe you want to come off as more relatable. But the fact of the matter is you are not going to relate to everybody. Not everyone is going to like you. So instead of trying to be relatable to everybody, why don't you start being real with yourself? Because at least when you are completely true to yourself, people will like you for you or they won't like you for you. But at least you'll know that you're being real with yourself and then the people who are gravitating towards you are genuinely coming to you because of you, not some mask that you're wearing and not some edited version of who you're pretending to be. I want you to stop editing and filtering everything that you say and everything that you write. Now, do I think it's important to be grammatically correct? Yes. Do I think that it's important that you put thought into what you write and what you say? Absolutely. That's not the kind of editing that I'm talking about though. I'm talking about the kind of editing where you write something and it's like first shot and it's really pure and it's really from your heart and that's really how you feel. Then you go back to what you write and you're like, no, that doesn't sound good. No, if I say that, people might get offended. Or if I say that, they may not like me. That's the kind of editing and filtering that I'm talking about. Just show up as you. Not everyone's gonna like what you have to say. Not everyone's gonna like what you have to write. But at least you're being true to yourself. And that's one of the best ways to get over imposter syndrome is that you stop editing and filtering. Stop thinking so damn much. Do I think you need to put thought into your content? Do I think you need to put thought into what you're saying and what you're writing? Absolutely right it's important to have some sort of intention behind everything that you do if you're overthinking it and as a process and as a and as a byproduct of that you're not really saying what you mean and mean what you say that's gonna lead to you being an imposter because if you're putting stuff out there if you're putting your face out there you're putting your words out there and you know you could have been a little bit less fluffy a little bit more, less sugar coaty and you're like, eh, I don't really believe that. But you're just saying things and doing things so that people will follow you, like you, comment, and be your friend and want to hang out with you. That's another way that you're going to really start to feel like an imposter because you know you're not being real with yourself. So you got to get really honest with yourself. If you're thinking too much about stuff, stop. Anytime you think too much about anything, your mind will complicate it. And what, what started out to be this simple idea, this pure hearted idea or concept or something that you want to put out there will then become extremely complicated. When you have an idea to write something or when you have an idea to shoot a video, just do it. Just, just put it out there, especially if you've been holding back. This is for all you overthinkers out there. You need to just put like hit record and record yourself. Don't filter everything that you're going to say. Don't edit the shit out of everything you're going to say. Just show up because you never know who needs to hear the real version of you. You don't want to get people who are going to follow you and like you and be your friend because you've now changed your words to what you think people want to hear rather than what you, what's on your heart. And what's in your heart is pure. And that's what you need to be sharing. Stop thinking about what you can get all the time. I think it's important that we look out for ourselves. Be detached from the outcome. Be detached from, okay, if I say this, I'm gonna get this back. No, your number one job, if you're putting stuff out there into the world, is to put it out from a pure place. Be mindful of what you're putting out there. Be intentional, be pure hearted. Not everything has to be a game all the time. It can just be you putting your stuff out there and I promise you, you will be rewarded. You will get everything that is meant for you when you come from a pure place. Stop being strategic without being intentional. I'm all for strategy. I love strategy. I love having an intention behind everything that I do. I love having somewhat of a plan or a clear goal of where we're heading with this. But the thing is, if you're only going to be strategic without being genuine, without being authentic, that's just straight up manipulation. If you're just gonna constantly be thinking about strategy, what can I get, what can I get? I want, I want, I want, but you're not really tapping into your own core values and you're not speaking from that place, that is manipulative and people will feel that. If you really don't want to feel like an imposter anymore, you need to really tap into who you are, what your values are, what you want to say, what's on your heart, and then you can wrap the strategy around it. Don't just bust out the door with just straight strategy without being really, really clear on who you are and what do you stand for and what is the foundation upon which you live your life and run your business. The real reason why you're not as vocal as you want to be or why you're not getting your words out there or getting your art out there is because you feel like a fake and you're struggling with imposter syndrome and you're struggling with imposter syndrome 
because you're not being real and you know that you're not being real because you spend most of your time editing, strategizing, figuring out, overthinking what you're going to say and then you end up just getting exhausted and not saying anything. I'm not saying not to edit. I'm not saying not to be strategic. I'm not saying to not think about what you're going to say. What I am saying is though, do all of that, but always be mindful and intentional about why you're saying what you're saying and have it come from a pure place. Have it come from a clean heart. Don't just say shit to get stuff all the time. Say what you mean and mean what you say.